talking about Coutinho tomorrow. Oh, there will be. Are we talking United round two? Hang on, Spud's done. What's going on? Can't be a dog. I don't need to play this one up too much. It's every day, I think. It's the end of the year. I mean, we're talking. One of the clashes in world football, isn't it? So many stars on both sides. Can't wait for this one. Puedo decir es que seguramente que el jugador que va, que va a jugar mañana lo va a hacer bien. No lo va a hacer como Neymar porque Neymar es Neymar, es muy bueno, pero seguramente que lo va a hacer bien. Entonces no estoy preocupado por el, el hecho que, que el jugador que va a jugar lo va a hacer bien. Well, Lionel Messi, it's such a privilege to watch him play. Well, he's got the ball on the string, hasn't he? I mean, he's mesmeric to watch. Can't get enough of him. He's a player who has a lot to do. La Liga está esperando que no haya sin gol. Sergio Ramos juega en el Spanish Supercup. Y está en vivo en el Sunday. Y en el campo de Barça contra el Real Madrid. Y en el Spanish Cup. Y en el Spanish Cup. 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 En el Spanish Extremely serious, though. Yeah, especially what we saw from both these teams over the summer, not just in that friendly, but more recently Neymar departed Barcelona, Real Madrid. No questions about them. Do they need to be enforced? Do they need to be? Will there be a hole left by 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 Morata's departure? Do they the squad deep enough? I think it is. I think it's not a lot to change for for Real. This is about Barcelona having to prove that that there is. Well, not just light, but significant light. Real Madrid looking good with this attack. Catching Real Madrid. The Barca go into these two legs as the underdogs. Came in with a challenge. Absolutely. Yeah, listen, if Neymar was still there, it. I would suggest could be that. Could caught having to hurry back. Underdogs anyway, but right. it's really going to be about. It's not about who wins it. It's about how much does Barcelona miss Neymar. I mean, Promising build-up. As build much up as we talk about, till he can compare it to the Community Shield. This is a bigger. Thing for Real Madrid and Barcelona because of their rivals and because the fact Real Madrid want to win everything this calendar year. Community, community shield powder puff compared to yeah. not the fact that it's a Super Cup, just the fact that these two huge, fantastic teams going Michael head to head. In. Everybody likes to watch whenever they play, but the boys are right. I mean, why, 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 that's one of the some catch up to play. That sounds strange when you've still got Suarez and Messi, but they've got a new coach. They've lost one of the best players in the world. They've got Iniesta in his 30s now. They've got Busquets who didn't have a great year last year. They've got PK Shots as well at the back who's not getting any quicker. And then you've got Offside Zidane called, who, and we can see again you know, now. back to back well, that's a good call. Uh, Champions yeah, League wins. They've played great. They absolutely destroyed the Juventus at the end of last year. Yards in They're in here, looking great. Zidane's problem is who to leave out. Well, Barcelona's is. is the opposite. Yeah. Who do they put in? It's one of those trophies as well. A everyone going Real Madrid? And yeah, yeah. say Barcelona? Absolutely. Real, unanimous. Sergi Roberto. It's Messi. Ivan Rakitic. Is there any other fixture, Alan, that can heavily link to a movement to Barcelona? Raph, we knew the latest yesterday was not answering his phone. He's gone AWOL. A magical spending to a week. Sometimes these what is the latest that you can tell us? Well, he is still in Dortmund. He's not on his way to Paris. He's not on his way on to Barcelona. His agents have distanced themselves it's from uh, him not turning up for training. Modric. They said it uh, was his decision, not their advice. Of course, Barcelona saying we've got nothing to do with this. I, uh, I'm guessing here, um, reading between the lines, that this is a little here. bit on hold now because Barcelona's priority is Coutinho. And I think they still feel that they've got a chance of getting him only if Liverpool assist uh, and uh, you know, Coutinho's moves don't pay off then they will maybe come back uh, because I think buying twi both of them uh, for the kind of sums ball, that are being quoted certainly by Dortmund is just not feasible. Um, the first. problem for Dortmund is that they have to make a decision well, here. The guy's 21, the um, is the he's already he not turned up, he's effectively gone on strike. Do they want to carry that over and create that sort of negative dynamic or will they say, you know what, we bought him for 15 million last year 
he's not really the most important player at the club. Yes, he is big. Yes, he you know Patience provides goals, but we will probably make the Champions League anyway. We will probably um, you know be in a similar situation in the league because if he buys, if he goes, or if he stays. So that's why they've released a statement saying the money no, that Liverpool has offered is not good enough. They haven't said situation. we're not selling. They've said um, we're not selling for that Here's money, which Isco. is a very different thing. Close! That is how close they came to getting the lead. Interesting times at Dortmund. Alejandro Moreno here. He is laughing because it is interesting indeed. Usman Dembele missing training, has been suspended, and find Peter Ross saying that he's got a wall, Alejandro. And we're also hearing that Barcelona had their bid for the Frenchman rejected. Sergio so Roberto. To go anywhere right now, Alejandro. Lionel is this Messi. situation going to go south quickly? Ivan Rakitic. Well, I think it's already gone south. When Luis the player Suarez. doesn't show for training, I think that's a very strong statement. Well, they're building steadily here, working on away. On behalf of what he wants to do. Well, this is Clearly, how this team can play. He has sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, and, and, well, it's just a yes, risk that they might get caught out. Player, and your dream is to go to a club like Barcelona. Bale. As happy as you may very well be at Dortmund, those are opportunities that don't come twice. Carvajal. Here's a chance I'm to attack. Saying, trying to Challenges for the, the ball. Saying, Look, I want to go. Iniesta. Just let me go. I'm not going to come to train. You know? And once it goes in that direction, then it becomes very difficult because now you've generated an uncomfortable. Here's Casemiro. Here's Isco. What to do with the player? Barcelona is hanging over, saying, "Hey, we got the money right here. Here's the bid. They have come to us." And all of that, somebody's got to make a decision that is objective and that he can benefit really make an impact on the game. and Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund seems to be Comes hanging with on the to the idea that Mbele is their player. But we've seen over the course of, of many of these negotiations that eventually the more powerful club... Sergio Busquets. They've got the ball back by that interception. It's looking good, this move. But usually, Barcelona is able to be the team that pulls the player away from the club. I think that across the pond over in England, there's a little club called Liverpool that are probably breathing a sigh of relief. Do you think that now Barcelona have their focus on Dembele and Ivan Rakitic? No, I don't think so. Still go for him. I think this is a package. I've got a great understanding of this team. Just look at the passing. Or the challenge here. Good possession play. Now it's and been taken away from them. Now we're talking. Now, well, Trying now to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Barcelona. I think Coutinho is still in play. Liverpool will be now wide. They were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. And very much in play, and Dortmund and Liverpool are hanging on. So Liverpool and Dortmund standing their ground, Attack but as now. Alejandro says, it's only a matter of time before they'll have to give up that fight. And the defender has blocked the cross, and he's done it well. Gerard De Lefeu. Iniesta. Came in with a challenge. Liverpool are standing firm when it comes well, to the future of Coutinho. That here. seems to be the message they are putting out today. Reports <laughs> suggesting they have turned down a second bid from Barcelona in excess How of $100 million. Uh, music to your ears, Stevie. Can't believe it. Fantastic. It's hard Making a film. stand. And how long will I go along with that? That's absolutely here. not true. I, I was asked the question how I would feel if they let him go, and, and I gave my answer. Uh, but I am absolutely <laughs> delighted that they have turned the down a bit. So and if they've turned down a bit of 100 million, that tells you they're serious about keeping it. I don't remember you getting this upset when Suarez was sold. Liverpool were a selling Rafael club, Varane. but still a selling club, isn't it? Sergio Ramos. This is what we're going to find out. If they turn around well, and Suarez, Suarez to miss it, not to, you, you're not. The, the difference when Suarez left was Liverpool financially were in a bit of trouble. How do you think? It was a completely Cristiano different Ronaldo ballgame. The, the reason I'm more upset Alan. now is because the family group have got Liverpool on a stable financial him, footing. Actually, made it Monday and a fantastic job with. You. The point you made is the difficult situation here yeah, because back down here you could have, Bernabeu we don't know Stadium. Philip Coutinho personally, we don't know his mindset, we don't know his attitude, we don't know how he'll react to this. Trying I can understand the player, the I mean Barcelona for God's sake, this situation. as big a club as Liverpool are, yeah. they've Attack been starved of real success now, from the his days when they were lifting European Cups almost every year. 
and running away with the which was the, the first division then, now the Premier League. It's messy. All of a sudden, Barcelona want you. Your mindset changes. Luis now, Suarez. if they don't sell him, what can he fill at Coutinho are they going to have? As Stevie said, will they be in the half for a month? Gerard, yeah. Yeah. A week? Six months? Or are you going to have a guy who you're going to get over yes. 100 million for now, who's probably going to be worth half that in 12 months if his attitude stinks? That's the big risk. How much of a different chance is it made of the fact that it's well here World for Cup Real Madrid? Nation. So Coutinho is thinking not only about that, obviously, what but if he stays at Liverpool, he can't really solve because he still wants to make an impression. Well, I, I think he has to. Philip Coutinho quite Cabahan. clearly has, has his own future in his, in his hands here. I mean, at the same Madrid. time, uh, I don't think Coutinho has been as good post injury as he was pre does he go to Barcelona does he just sit on the bench does he rediscover his form all these are things for him to consider now I'm with Stevie here and as much as when Barcelona, a club like Barcelona come calling you know heads are going to be turned he signed a new deal six months ago seven months ago and now all of a sudden but Barcelona got a chance yes but yeah but at the same time you signed a deal seven months ago I, that doesn't matter. If, oh, if, you, come on, you know, if you're thinking that my future lays, lies somewhere else, whether there's printed interest or not, then see it all. You, I, I, I'm sorry, you can't make this kind of an about turn, a total 180 in seven months. I, I, don't, I, I don't care. I, I have no sympathy oh, at all. We need to get in the real world gone. here. These contracts are not worth the paper they're written. Well, uh, well uh, we, we can say that. I'm fine to say that. What's well, the, the point of having a no Exactly. I'm just <laughs> saying they're not worth it. it. Whether a player signed six months ago, or three Hold months on, ago, or a month Madrid. ago, heads will be turned when bigger, better, more successful clubs come on the market. It, it, it's just. It's, it's, it's rational business sense it's, it's, and it's rational career sense. Uh, uh, understandable, but at the same time, contracts have value. If you don't, and if players start neglecting the value to those contracts, clubs can then turn around and say, well, you haven't been playing well for the last nine months, we'd like to terminate Shan, it. That's different, isn't it? Hold on. It's just not that, that exists, that exists it, in the uh, US. Uh, that uh, exactly uh, is how different? contracts work in, in NFL. Contracts are not guaranteed in, in, in NFL in the US. And as, as rich as players get, clubs still have a lot of power. Now, if players want to kind well. of throw that away, throw away the value of that contract, that's what they're flirting yeah, with. We've got to, we've got to move on. Play I mean, between the two of is not a good set to football. Substitute ready to come on for Barcelona. Jordi Alba. Tremendous understanding from these players. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Rafael Varan. Sergio Roberto. Real Madrid will make the substitution now. Good forward play from them. Challenges for the ball. Well, the attack, which looks so promising, has now been stopped in its tracks, and now it's about defending. Marcelo. Ivan Rakitic. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Here's a chance to attack. Sergio Busquets played down the wing to the dangerous Messi. Just working away to try and find an opening. A little private game between the two of them. Well, good through ball. Jordi Alba. It's a very good game here, a tight one. They're trying to get themselves into a position to take the lead. Coming up is a switch in personnel for Real Madrid. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. 
And the attacking now coming from Barcelona. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Lionel Messi. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Jordi Alba. De La Feu. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football. But when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Well, they're still battling to try and get their search for supremacy successful. Possession facts suggest that the battling is still going on. That's right. One thing having possession, but another thing being positive and using it in the right areas. They've got a great understanding, this team. Just look at the passing. And now the shot! Great stop. Here's a chance from the corner. Heads it towards goal. The pressure's on the defenders now. It's a corner. And the corner dealt with pretty straightforwardly. We've got five minutes left on the clock, plus whatever the referee chooses to add on. And it's still level here. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Getting into an advanced position, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo! It could have been a really significant shot, that. It did just miss, but for a moment we thought that would have influenced the shape of the scoreline. Yeah, he uh, grimaces. He, he knows that was a big moment. If he could have found the target there... Well, we waited to see which of the coaches would take the chance, really, risk losing to try and win. And he's done that by bringing on the extra striker. The score's still level. Yeah, you've got to applaud the move. I just wonder whether the opposing manager now might make an adjustment, perhaps put on another defender. And Barcelona on the attack. Interception on Mascherano's attempted pass. Well, it's still level. And there is the final whistle after 90 minutes. Very, very close, as the scoreline suggests, over the regulation period. Now we've got extra time. Can that separate the two sides? Modric. It's with Marco Asensio. Here come Real Madrid. Good, strong tackle. Sergio Busquets. It's with Marco Asensio. This could be it. It's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. Confident and 
quality on the ball. Now you can cross it. Messi! Another opportunity wasted by this team. It's still level in the match. Sergio Ramos. Here's Casimiro. Rafael Varad. Now Casimiro. Marcelo. Gareth Bale. Real Madrid looking good with this attack. And in he goes with the tackle. Eye catching football, really. It just got to a stage where they actually took the eye off the ball, literally. and They've lost the ball. We've got two added minutes. That's been signaled now. Excellent passing. Great interplay. Slide rule pass there. Keeps it going well. That is a free kick, and they've got a chance to really make the most of that decision. the wall well they know their football here Alan don't they and they're not happy they suspect a bit of gamesmanship yeah and I think they have right to suspect that because the away team here really are trying to tick down the clock and get something out of this match Well, that's the sort of corner that frustrates the coach. Well, what a contest. In the first period of extra time, second period to come. The teams have turned round quickly, and the second period of extra time underway straight away. work between these two right maybe from Barcelona Being moved around nicely here with this passing game to put them in front well you've got to compliment him for trying but that's well off target Kovacic. A timely challenge. Sergio Busquets. Played back. There's some potential in this move. And the advantage play for Barcelona. Fail a fail! Well, there's nothing still to separate these teams despite these chances. I guess we've got eight minutes to go now. Still time, eight minutes to go. Now Casimiro. Kovacic. Benzema. Quick tempo. 
approach of the passing. The opposition can't get near them. Bale! He's just put it off target, just wide of that post. Well, his teammates were convinced he was going to score there, I think. It's another chance, really. And any sort of contact there, and you think it must go in, but it didn't go in. Well, I think it's one of those. He's just lost concentration. He's probably thought he's going to score before he's made connection. Strong tackle. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, you can't fault them for that lack of effort. It's still level. Sergio Busquets. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Two more minutes to be played then. Added time. It's Mascherano getting well forward. The teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. And the pressure all on the penalty takers now because we're going to decide this game via the penalty shootout. Karim Benzema with the penalty. as a miss it certainly does and it was a poor effort in many ways didn't strike it cleanly i must say he's got beat the goalkeeper well in this penalty shootout penalty now luka modric well the stutter was okay goal given Lionel messi to take the penalty well he scored no problem can he take it on the responsibility here it's a big ask that's a brilliant goal. Well, he did that little stutter in the run-up, but the goalkeeper still makes the save. It is a goal, despite that run-up, which looked a bit iffy. I don't think he really fancied it. Yeah, look on his face beforehand. Uh, didn't feel with confidence. He has to score. Doesn't he just? Just about keeping his nerve. The pressure was on, but he was up to the task, and they won the shootout. Well, they picked one of the most experienced men there, and he's paid off. Here is another angle on that goal. 